hello. Come right on in. You're it, Father Fish. Nice to have you with us. Yeah, Aquatic Conquest. I've noticed nearly every second-hand tank on eBay comes with loads of chemicals for treating fish or the water. Isn't that interesting? And isn't it interesting that after spending all of that money on all of those chemicals and treatments and devices to keep their fish alive, they fail? Why is that, do you suppose? Folks, this is not a casual observation. This is, as best I am capable of waging it, open warfare on those who want to treat your tank as a chemical experiment, as a cauldron into which you, into which you, uh, you pour various and sundry elements in order to get it bubbling just right. This is serious stuff, and it's destroying the hobby for countless people because they are not being given the kind of advice that a gardener at a local garden shop would give their wannabe gardeners. You don't get that kind of crap from a garden shop. They don't try to sell you a $5,000 chemical injection system and then couple it with something else to denitrify and on and on and on. They don't treat gardens as though they're chemical experiments. They help you build your soil so it becomes a rich environment supportive of life, not a chemical experiment that burns off and kills everything. How many gardeners use algicide in their garden? Precisely zero. Why would you put a plant killer in the garden. Why would you do it? And why would you do it in a fish tank unless you don't want an environment where fish are able to thrive? And whatever gave you the idea that fish could live without plants? Where did that piece of brilliance come from? I mean, really, it's time to get serious. It's time to get serious with people who, who are being abused into spending vast amounts of money on a hobby that they're, that, that's going to result in their failure. Because it will. They will fail. At a given point in time, 99% will fail. The other 1% will figure out they don't need all that crap, and they'll start figuring out on their own how to do it. Or maybe luck out and find somebody like James or Alex or myself or any of, any of a number of other people on YouTube who are doing it properly and correctly. I'm, get, I'm sorry I'm getting agitated. Uh, there's a lot going on right now that agitates me. <clears throat> some of it's affecting all of us. Some of it's just affecting me. But it's cumulative. And it's causing me to become somewhat irascible. And I don't like myself doing that particularly. Because it upsets people. Because when I get upset, I transfer the upset, and other people get upset. 
it's just not a good way to proceed. So well, we'll my apologies if I'm losing <laughs> control. I apologize. Uh, and it's okay, me, and we kind of we like it a little bit because you have a valid point about the gardeners and gardening centers. You know, they they're trying to help their fellow gardeners, and I think you make a valid point. And it's understandable why you would be upset about that. Thank you. Just with the way the industry is going, with the, the lack of information, all the confusion, you know, it's like you don't know what to believe, really. And we're just yeah, here, we're, we're here seeking your advice, you know, because we we found you, Father Fish, and we think you've got the knowledge that we're seeking. <laughs> Well, and you know, I'm not, I'm not wanting to be playing God either. I mean, I don't, I don't hold out the notion that my way is the only way. I mean, I, the, there are people here on, 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 on the web who are doing things in YouTube, who are doing things very differently from the way I do them, and they're being very successful. And that's fine. I respect that. You know, I'm. I'm mostly and primarily interested in people who are having problems and people who are starting out. You know, if you're down the road, I don't have much to teach you. I got a lot more to learn from you because you're doing things I, I haven't figured out yet. I mean, every one of us, <clears throat> as we move forward with this hobby, we, things, we figure things out and we develop systems that are very much our own. And that's what we like to share. And we do share. I mean, somebody 50 years down the road, sharing with somebody who's been at it for five or 10 years, still has a lot to learn because that person has developed techniques and approaches and systems and ways of doing things that, that have come out of their own experience and that are valuable information for anyone else on that same path, regardless how far down the path they are. So, you know, it's not a matter of having a lock on the truth. It is a matter of, of knowing that there, there, there are basic things that work and there are things that don't work. And there's too much going on in the hobby that doesn't work for new people getting into it, way too much. There are too many products being pumped out the door from big box stores and local fish stores alike that have no bearing on maintaining a healthy aquarium. They're simply a way to make money. And that's not fair, particularly when you're dealing with people who are trying to do something new that they really don't understand. It's not fair. And I, part of the problem is that the people doing the selling don't understand any better either. You know, I don't think they're deliberately malicious people, deliberately abusive, and are trying to make people fail. I don't think that at all. I think they just don't know. I mean, the perfect example is this couple that just came in that bought a 150-gallon tank, brand new, with everything. They've spent upwards of $5,000 in five weeks. And they've got a crapshoot. And they've got something that's going to crash. At some point in time, in the not-too-distant future, it's going to crash. And they're going to wind up calling me and asking me if I will buy their system and I'll offer them one-tenth of what they paid for it and they'll put it online and won't get a better offer. You know, it's tragic. It's really tragic. And it just happens too often. Frank's Okay, thank you, Frank. Frank is leaving us. Take care. Be safe. <laughs> Uh, 
I need hot coffee. <laughs> Mine got cold. John McKenzie, <laughs> thank you, John. I don't think it's fair to lump every LFS together on ripping people off, and I'm not. I'm not. There's a big confusion between novice and advanced stockworks keeping difficult plants and needing to maximize everything. Absolutely, Alexander. I'm not knocking every LFS. I am an LFS, for God's sake. I'm not knocking myself. I have friends who have local fish stores who do things very differently from me, and I have respect for them, and I am supportive of them. I've got one here in my own community. I keep trying to convince them to do a dirted tank every time we get together. I tease them about it. He does gravel. That's all he does is gravel. But he has a really sweet shop. He's And he's very good to his customers. He's not trying to push products out the door. He does have a wider line of products that I do because he needs it to maintain gravel tanks. And he has customers going between his store and mine. And some of them choose to deal with him. And some of them choose to deal with me. And some of them deal with both of us. But we love each other. And we are supportive of each other. We buy products from each other. We work together on projects. We're friends. I'm not putting down every LFS. But I am putting down those big box stores and LFS stores that believe their sole responsibility is to make as much money as they possibly can as quickly and easily as they possibly can. And I think that stinks. Thank you, Fish Dreams, for the super sticker. Well, I hope you found something that you've never seen before. Have a great day. I share it with us. Come on back.